What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I showed you a Curran watch recently in blue, and I was so impressed with it for being a cheap watch, an inexpensive watch, I ordered another one to take a look at it. And the only thing that's different about this little bad boy is that, well, it's a different color scheme, and that's it, literally. So I do expect it to be equally as attractive, and it certainly seems like that, at a glance. So let's start on the uh, mundane stuff. Silicone black band uh, has the current logo molded into it. And in fact, I like the fact that it has a red C there as well. A couple of straps here. And there's a little bit of, you know, a, a uh, shape to the to the band. And then you have a pretty substantial buckle here. It says Curran blasted into that. You have like this tire tread pattern on the inside of the band on both sides, which is kind of cool and probably helps it breathe a little bit. As you can see, it's squared off there, boom. And so, uh, you know, a curved band fits flush against the case. I think that looks pretty nice. The case itself is polished and, you know, in terms of manufacturing, and I guess I just have nasty fingers, um, pretty nice. And in fact, it has pretty nice weight to it too, right? Now you have some thick pushes here. These don't move. They actually look like they're pretty real because they even look like, they don't look like they're, you know, just cast into the case. They're kind of a separate piece, which is funny uh, because these subdials are totally for decoration only. You can see there that they're kind of sunk down but you can kind of tell as you get a close look at it like this that those hands are just a part of the dial themselves you know there's silver and they're just pointing north there's nothing real about them except that they're there and I've got the little uh, tab under the crown here which has a little knurling a little gear like Man, you need really small hands to get this stuff out and I have giant hands giant hands so there we go now we should get it running there. And so I just want to kind of take a look at the dial here first and we'll kind of back out, we'll start in the middle. Silver hands, uh, white filled. And the, the silver on the hands matches the fake silver hands. And then you have kind of this dual level dial. So you have, oh, more of a bright white back portion. And then you have this perforated uh, kind of pearl you know, dial on top of it. So you have all these little perforations, these little holes all over. I think it gives it a really nice look. You have current chronometer up at the top, which it's not really. I mean, I guess it could be certified that this movement keeps awesome time, you know, and it's just a kind of an off the shelf quartz movement. I would assume it keeps very, very good time. You can see here, you know, a deep outer chapter ring with pips at the hour marks and then uh, markings for the minute, Arabic numerals for the even numbers that are just kind of silk screened onto that top dial. Glass crystal, I think. And then you have this painted black bezel here, which is gonna be a tachymeter. So you have the tachymeter indications all the way around there. So, oops, there we go. I think pretty nice looking watch. Now it's pretty big. I guess this is like a 46 millimeter. So it's not a small watch by any means, but plenty of band even for my larger wrist here. And the silicone is always super comfortable. Let's take a look at that, man. You know, fits pretty good. You can see there, there's maybe just a little bit of gap because these lugs kind of splay out to the sides. They don't kind of roll down my wrist perfectly, but I think that's a nice looking watch, man. You know, for 20 bucks, I mean, it's got a lot more flash and style than some watches that are 10 or 100 times their price. Now, I agree. Someone in the comments on the other current that I looked at were like, what is the point of fake dials? And I agree. I totally agree. That's uh, kind of obnoxious in my opinion. But I like... Lots of complications on my watch. I like my watches to look a little busy. And doggone it, I wish they had actually gone ahead and made 
these subdials live by putting in a slightly better movement um, you know because it's not maybe a huge cost but I get it, it's a cost you have three more hands to put on there a higher end movement that you've got to buy so it is what it is but if they had done that I mean then I think you really would have gotten a lot of value or they could have just left it off and I think you know the the dial still would have looked pretty intriguing with those little perforations in it now would it look like a golf ball with no sub dials in there probably but as it stands I think a pretty pretty nice watch for 20 bucks definitely something you could beat up you know and have a little style to me it has a kind of screams a lot of tag Heuer Carrera so I mean how can you go wrong for 20 bucks there I said it and I believe it Peter Von Vanda with my current watch ooh let's give it away if you've stuck around long enough now uh, you know that we should hook someone up with this so let's go ahead and do this on uh, August 12th 2017 give it away I'm gonna post this video also on Facebook so just follow the link in the YouTube description to the Facebook post and like that Facebook post that's all you have to do uh, that liking of the Facebook post or emoting of any type on that Facebook post will get you entered in the giveaway the only restrictions to the giveaway are that you have to live in the United States or Canada because those are the only places I can afford to ship it to but if you win it and like it and uh, I reach out to you and you're in one of those locales I'll get it out to you you can wear this little bad boy on your wrist there I said it you can wear it on your wrist get yourself a watch Peter Van Panda out